Hi everyone, welcome to The Word at One on this Tuesday afternoon. And I'm here in front of kind of one of the latest projects going on here around the church is um, helping to build kind of a little area for our continued audiovisual needs. And it's amazing. Um, there are some incredible workmen here in our church and some wonderful elders and friends who have been working hard on this and within a couple days have built a whole other room. And this is kind of, you know, a little bit, kind of like a little bit of a cave, I want to think. It's kind of tucked away, it's kind of hidden away. So maybe if anybody, you know, wants to take a nap Sunday morning, <laughs> they can find this space back here. And today we're going to talk about the story of Elijah and another person that God gives rest in a cave. And Elijah is a significant prophet, very important. He has a big word for King Ahab and uh, for Queen Jezebel, and they're not very happy about the word. And so Elijah runs away because he's afraid. And God leads him to this cave on the Mount of God, on Mount Sinai. And in this cave, God provides for him. God brings him food, God gives him rest, God attends to his needs, and God reveals himself. And he reveals himself in a whisper. There's an earthquake, there's a fire, these things don't reveal God. God reveals himself in a whisper. And it's a moment for Elijah to recognize that God is with him. Um, even as he's hidden away, uh, God provides for his needs. And so God provides for our rest in so many ways. And in this way, Elijah needed physical rest, but he also needed spiritual rest. He was weary from all the work that he was doing. So you may be feeling that way right now, that you may feel a little weary, you may feel like everything's kind of working against you and you need to kind of find yourself hidden away in kind of a spiritual cave for a while. And I want you to take that time. Take that time with the Lord, take a break. Um, find a place where you can just be and be with him and let God minister to you. Let him minister to your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit. Provide for you in every way, even if it's physical needs, um, providing food, providing anything else that you need. May you just rest in a certain place and know that God will reveal himself to you. Allow yourself to be quiet and to hear uh, what he wants to share with you and that he wants to give you rest. Even the great Elijah needed rest. See you all tomorrow.